In 10 years' time, will your profession stay relevant in the job market? Or are machines replacing every human job, threatening for most livelihoods? With the rise of technology, most skills are already being replaced with automated machines. This means that to stay relevant in the workforce, you must have skills that are valuable both today and in the near future. According to some sources, about 40% of jobs within the United States might be replaced with automated machines. However, the great thing is that in this video, I'll help you identify the top skills that will help you prepare yourself for the future. But before we get into this, I want to welcome you to Invest in Knowledge. Knowledge is power, and I'll teach you the most accurate, money-wise, and up-to-date tips, ideas, and tricks for you to start making money. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be notified every time there's a new video uploaded. And please leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. Let's begin now with the first skill, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is fast becoming important in our modern day, as many companies are trying to remain relevant through automated functions of work. With an increase in human replacement and machines and products that assist businesses to perform some tasks without humans, people with the skills for artificial intelligence. Now gaining the skill takes time to learn. You may want to go back to school and learn or teach yourself the skills. The end result will help you become relevant as an employee and skills that are future-proofed. This is creating machines learning devices and applications to help solve real-life problems. The more of these inventions come on by, the better and easier that businesses are able to sustain and grow without dedicating tons of their budget to employee salaries. Learn coding. There are rumors that coding might eventually become a basic way of living, a language that might be expected to be written by an ordinary person. This is because of the crucial role. It is a skill that is needed to help businesses translate their solutions in technical terms. It is time-consuming to eventually know how to code well, but it's worth every second you learn. Some people made an awful lot of money through coding. Have you ever heard of Mark Zuckerberg? Different programming languages offer different focuses and skills. Some as regular languages, the language is a simple way of communicating with the computer. You can create applications, games, and programs with them, and there are unique advantages to each. You will need to learn which language best suits the type of product you'll be interested to create, maintain, or test. Python seems to be one of the languages that are beginner-friendly. Once you learn one language, it becomes easier for you to understand the concept behind most languages. You can go to school or watch tutorials that can teach you how to code. Cloud computing. Imagine a world where people don't have to buy flashy drives and store stuff on their computer, but have everything they do get stored on a cloud. Well, that time is now, and this is fast becoming a reality and normal way of living. With this kind of skill, you become valuable to companies that want to store most of their data in the cloud, applying security, being an expert in cloud management, will give you the skill needed to also secure company information, as well as distribution channels for managing employees and their projects. As you can see, how you become a company asset, you will need to have some form of education to back up this skill, make you stand out among other employees who may also have this skill set. Leadership. Since most companies search for leadership skills among their employees, Having a leadership skill will go a long way towards securing your space in the future workforce. This means that you're able to motivate and take charge of projects, seeing them through. There's a vast amount of evidence proving that most businesses do well when they promote their own employees as opposed to finding talent for each leadership role. You can develop this skill by taking up leadership courses and learning from mentors. Since leadership often entails motivation, you have to protect your integrity and be a man of your word. It should be easy for people to trust you. 
data science. More similar to coding in terms of being a developer, data scientists focus on handling large amounts of data. They gather it and simplify it to help businesses understand their market. However, it's not intended to a particular industry. Data scientists are fast becoming one of the most important positions in most companies. This is because the data collected usually cannot be easily interpreted without a heavy budget. However, data scientists do this with ease. This could be user behavior, which helps the company produce better products and services to help resolve actual pain points and let go of the guessing work. To become a data scientist, you will need to study formally as employers tend to trust qualified professionals in this field. Blockchain. This service has become a need in the last two years. If you need proof of this, have a look at LinkedIn, who recorded a rise in demand, making the profession the most demanded service on LinkedIn. Blockchains are much more than Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. Blockchain can be viewed as a decentralized public ledger. This is how businesses view reliable records of their transactions and dealings, especially if this takes place globally. As the task of tracking down transactions can be very complex, this type of skill will dominate most international trade in the near future. So if you gain this skill, you will stay relevant for the longest of time in the job market. Because it also stores data, this could be used to help companies in hiring people. It will allow them to check a prospective employee's work history without needing the person to present their CV. Lately, there's been a heavy use for this service in the supply chain management industry. This is to help track goods often shipped around the world from suppliers to buyers. It has become a good source of clamping down on piracy, particularly on items that can be protected by copyright laws. If you believe you can pursue skills with the blockchain sector, then a formal qualification will be your first stepping stone. You can start with a computer science degree. Learn sales and marketing. You probably didn't imagine this occupation being part of the future careers, right? Now they don't have to do with machines at all. But the reason they are future-proof is they cannot be replaced. They are human jobs that cannot be done by machines. Until a new invention promises to supply sales and marketing services, it will always be humans making decisions related to these disciplines. The only technologies in this field that have been creating are ones that assist sales and marketing managers rather than replacing them. These careers are not only limited to specific types of businesses, as they fit in both traditional and technology environments. A computer simply cannot close a deal. There have been technologies that claim to write like a marketer or even copywriting services, but it is still very far from ever being as good as a human. Most people still prefer being sold something by another human. Although you can build your career in this field by simply learning on the job, most employers will need you to have completed your degree in order for them to hire you. Before we get to the last top skill to learn for the future, please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Healthcare and nursing. Unfortunately, we are not immortal. And at times, human beings fall sick. We have seen it during the pandemic. Now, this is a trend that will never drop. No matter where you are in the world, there will always be people who fall sick enough to need some form of professional health care. It's the only industry that blossomed during the pandemic, so much so that governments had to implement lockdowns to help hospitals cope with the rise in sick patients. Healthcare services simply cannot be replaced with machines. And guess what? Nurses and many other professions within healthcare are facing a shortage crisis. So taking on this career somehow guarantees future proofing for you. Now, if you're working towards a career change or are simply starting out with your career, it's always important to evaluate your choice of career so that you are not only preparing for what you think is best now, instead ask yourself if the career path you're choosing will remain relevant in 10 to 20 years to come.
We cannot run away from the fact that some careers will become redundant in the near future, and our ignorance will place us in a very compromising position. This information may also be relevant to someone starting a business, as these changes are already having a negative impact on companies that are struggling to keep up. We can blame the pandemic, but in truth, the pandemic only accelerated the inevitable. Let us know in the comments which of these career paths you would most likely be taking and how you plan to do that. We hope you enjoyed the video. And you can help us to know that by clicking that like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button so you can be notified every time we publish a new video. That's it for the future skills you might need for the future. If you love similar content, please take a look at my other videos and stay tuned for future videos.